Welcome. This series presents the non-dual wisdom of the Avatar Gita. Ramana Maharshi often quoted from this Gita and was widely regarded to exemplify its teachings. So listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. Know yourself. This is Richard Clark. Today I will read from and comment on chapter 1, verses 29 and 30, about the nature of the self-realized. I also will offer inquiry that might deepen your experience of these verses. Verse 29. Free from subject and object am I. How can I be self-realizable? Endless is my nature. Nothing else exists. Absolute truth is my nature. Nothing else exists. 30. Atman by nature. The supreme reality am I. Neither am I slayer nor the slain. My comments. These verses are from the Avata Gita, a sacred text of Advaita Vedanta attributed to the ancient sage Dattatreya. These verses describe self-realization and oneness with the absolute truth, Brahman. Let's break down these verses. Verse 29. Free from subject and object am I. How can I be self-realizable? Endless is my nature. Nothing else exists. Absolute truth is my nature. Nothing else exists. In verse 29, the speaker proclaims being completely free from the limitations of subject and object. In ordinary perception, there is a subject, the perceiver, and an object, the perceived, creating duality. However, with self-realization or enlightenment, this duality dissolves, and the individual recognizes their true nature as beyond subject and objects, they realize themselves as the non-dual, unchanging reality, Brahman, transcending the relative world of distinctions, no this and that, no differences. The speaker further emphasizes that their nature is endless, limitless, and that nothing else exists apart from this absolute truth. This means that the entire universe is perceived as a manifestation of the one underlying reality, Brahman. The enlightened experience unity with all existence, recognizing that everything is an expression of the same ultimate reality. What is being said is also true for you. It is not talking about anyone else. Inquire, are you, too, a subject to observe the object? Or are you both subject and object? Are both in you? Are you two, one in the universe? Or are you non dual? Verse 30 Atman by nature. The supreme reality am I, neither am I slayer nor the slain. In verse 30, the speaker identifies themselves with Atman, 
the true self, which is considered identical to Brahman in Advaita Vedanta, the enlightened realize their inherent nature as the supreme reality, Brahman, beyond all forms and attributes. The phrase, neither am I slayer nor the slain, is a profound statement of transcendence over life and death. In the realm of duality, beings are subject to birth and death, and actions lead to karmic consequences. However, the enlightened recognize that their true nature is beyond birth and death, beyond any actions or their results. They are not affected by the play of life and death in the world of relativity, or Leela, the aimless play of the gods, since they have merged with the eternal, changeless reality of Brahman. Inquire, did you begin? Will you end? The body had a start and will have an end. Are you the body? These verses from the Avatar Gita beautifully capture the essence of Advaita Vedanta and self-realization. The enlightened realize their oneness with the absolute truth, with Brahman beyond all dualities, and their nature is described as endless, all-encompassing, and free from any limitations of subject-object perception or the cycle of birth and death. So, inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Ramana Maharshi video, subscribe, like, and send me a comment.